Hello everybody, welcome to week one of Super League. We've got Seabros versus KFOG in Group B. And we've got Seabros has Undead, uh, using their pack to get an additional skill, so seven skill Undead. And KFOG using the additional skill pack for Skaven to get eight skill Skaven. So very interesting, both making use of the package. And uh, Seabros won the toss and chose to kick. I think the main reason is to you know give him as much time as possible to kill the juggernaut and to kill the sidestepper to try and you know just generally just re reduce numbers as well right to make the one turn harder. Um, I'm pretty sure that is the thinking thinking there reasoning I was trying to say. And in the booth with me is the legend that is Dimmy G. Hello. It's G, Jimmy. Oh, it's sorry. G. Jimmy G. Can Jimmy we start G. the YouTube again? Can we? Just no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Good evening. Jimmy G. That's the, that's his name. That's he likes wrestling. Doesn't do. work on Tuesdays. <laughs> Don't work on Tuesday. Love wrestling. There you go. Where's the pool, Where's the pool gone? Uh, it was a touchback as of changing weather, oh, which put okay. it out the end zone and. Big Kev has given it to his thrower, who is leader for the third re-roll. I thought I thought Kefo might have been baited into hitting a mummy with a rat ogre here, and then fouling it. The problem is, of course, it would isolate the rat ogre, wouldn't it? Yeah, um, this this looks like a daka though. But then, it, yeah, if it's a daka, then the rogue wouldn't be there. Which is, I don't so really I guess know. He's going to play this as a normal drive, I think. Yeah, I don't know why the rogue isn't just on the LOS, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, Jim. I don't know. I mean, Kfo I mean, loves a misclick, doesn't he? So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you might have just missed the centre circle. Yeah, yeah. You never know. Like you know, either is, uh, is this something? Out. Is this secret <laughs> genius that I do? You know, it's, it's too advanced for me, or, or is he just misclicked? <laughs> well, it, anything's possible, Jim. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Uh... Kofu is pretty much widely regarded as the best player in the world of all time. He's actually moved his players before taking the blockers blocks as well, which is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And um, what he hasn't done is leave a lineman next to his rat ogre, so now his rat ogre oh my God. <laughs> is going okay. to tear apart a stone. Oh, did he re-roll it? No. What? <laughs> Kazza's <is> in! <laughs> He's Rattoga, man. Where'd you get it? He's a reliable big guy. Do you know what I really like about the Rattoga? He's so reliable. Such oh, a he's good not player. got an Apo either. <laughs> <laughs> no, he uses Apo on it. He uses Apo on the Storm Vermin and it failed. Did he use that it? That was it, yeah. Seriously hurt. New outcome. Seriously hurt. He used the Apo. Oh, my God. Just instantly gone. So while uh, <laughs> while Corfu may be the best coach in the world, <laughs> Radogas are not the best big guy, no matter what people will tell you. <laughs> I hope I hope Soul's watching this and taking notes on that. <laughs> I, hopefully he does this against me. Yeah. Uh, can you kill your uh, guard vermin <laughs> with your Radogas? But yeah, that was a bad play by Big Kev. He should have had it next to a line, was, shouldn't he? It was bad. You no, know, it was bad play, ultimately. Um, what an absolute shitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like, at the end of the day, it's uh, maybe that's a bit extreme to call him a shitter, but yeah, that, that, that was a mistake, wasn't it? That was absolutely a mistake. Submit to play of the week. <laughs> oh, it would be, yeah, I think we should, Jim. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, is it? He's reliable. He's so reliable, the rat ogre. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Great thinking as in deep machine. Only a 2D blitz. He's only got the... Only he has got a guard. He could have put the guard in and made this a 3D, but he didn't. He had the guard here. He didn't didn't put it in. I would have personally made a mummy a 3 dice block. I don't know about you, Dimmy. Uh, probably not. <laughs> probably not. That's what, it happens every time you hype somebody up, doesn't it? They just, they just make a misclick or a brain fart. You know? It's probably, like, Kefo is probably just rebelling at the fact that he doesn't like the pack, so he thought he'd remove one of his players <laughs> with the extra skill to, like, make it fair and, like, be beating. 
<laughs> yeah, well, last season he went with the imperial nobility, didn't he? And uh, this time he was like, screw that. He's going with uh, he's going with a good team. And he likes Skaven. He's played a fair bit of Skaven on Naf. You know, obviously well known Loads as a him about at the moment. Yeah. yeah, well known as a great one turner, isn't he? So. Um, so he's, he's often used as Skaven, which is funny because if I I wouldn't if I, it was if I was like the team maker or whatever whatever you would say captain maybe I don't know I wouldn't I wouldn't want one of my well probably the strongest player right on Skaven because I feel I'd want like you know a weaker player who can one turn on Skaven right and then let let Kfog use a team like you know Dark Elves or whatever where he's going to get more Blood Bowl playing rather than just do I want to turn for the for the draw or win, you know? Well, so, the capo is the captain, isn't he? Yeah, well, he is now, but I mean, he, he, you know, and who I knows? Don't think, I don't think he is playing Skaven, is he? I don't believe um, he is. Oh, not in Eurobowl, but like he has done in the oh, past, right. right? He has done in the past, he's used, he's used Skaven. I remember for Team England, I think it was Team England. Something he, he used, he used them. And, uh, I think, I, I think. Didn't, I didn't like it personally. I think it ultimately comes down to the captain's decision because like he wanted to play Slan last time, didn't he? And then they said no, he has to play Wood Elves, and that's the reason he ran for England captain was so he could pick his own race. And <laughs> he he could pick Wood Elves. <laughs> so he could play Slan. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, he's Wood Elves in the in the in the upcoming Euro Bowl. Yeah, very tempted to re-roll this. Yeah, you could you could tell that's what the pause was. Yeah, really yeah, yeah like, hey, you like a dog. Oh, yeah. He really wanted to re-roll that. He's got the Guardian next to him, which is nice as well. Mm. I think put this... I would have plugged the Blodger in here, right? Because you're, you're already in contact with the wrestler. You might as well put, like, two wrestlers in even, right? This, this wrestle guy might as well just be in. If you've got one guy in, just put two guys in, right? Make it harder for him to punch you. Quite a lot of free plus dodges to make here. Oh, I, he might try and punch his way out. It's a bit... It's mm. iffy. Well, he's starting with a roger. Didn't kill his own player. Like, what no, the hell? incredible. What the hell? That does get him a 2D, but leaves him to get punched by a mummy, which isn't the best, is it? Uh, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> that's definitely what he's going to be trying to do constantly all games, kill them, roger. Yeah, I mean, you, you you just want to like make three dice blocks with your mummies, right? Like you, your mummies, okay. You, you, it kind of sucks when your mummies get stuck on linemen, but at least they obliterate them because <laughs> they're on a seven. Yeah. And you've got mighty blow, so uh, you know it's not it's not great to have your mummies stuck on a like. You'd obviously rather be hitting his roger or you know hitting a gut runner or a storm vermin. Uh, of course, Cor was able to hit his own storm vermin with mighty blow, so that was helpful. It's KO there as well. Hmm. Great play. Yeah, you know, ma maxing block certainly does help. Ooh. Ooh. That was, uh... He's giving him the chain. Well, he can chain him onto the. He can chain the mummy onto the rogan now. So if he blitzes that rat below on the furthest rat on the right, he can blitz it into the bottom corner. And then he can hit that rat and then push the mummy onto the roger to punch the roger. Or, or, or onto the on onto the gutter to, to onto, beast the well, ball. Mm, I think I'd like to hit the roger. Mm. The only mean, problem is, one's fine, the only problem is, is I'd probably like hit with the mummy on the <laughs> lino and then kill him <laughs> and then lose my chain push. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's not yeah. doing—he's not doing that blitz how yeah, you would want well, to. Well, the problem is with that as well is your mummy's out of the way. But I mean, he, he could blitz with the the ghoul or something, bring the mummy over anyway. Just base up. Mm. I mean, surely he's not doing this blitz because if he was, it, he also could have blitzed like that way, couldn't he? As well, he could have blitzed in here and then just pushed yeah, in yeah, directly yeah. like that. <clears throat> and then again, you max him mighty blow blocks that way, aren't you? So yeah. Yes. Oh, gets him. So he, he saved his bit so far. Yeah, he? so, so he's, he's just going to blitz with him. So yeah, he did get. He did like. He would have hit. Got an extra hit if he'd done it our way. <laughs> and he does go for the roll gear. Yeah. Uh, 
No armor break. Oh. <laughs> Dyson. Bloody rats. Although it's going to be two into one. Where's this guard? Oh, he, he can get it two into two. So he brings the guard round in front of the rat ogre and then blitzes the mummy. And then the rats just run away. Yeah, that's guard. miserable, isn't it? That's <laughs> miserable. Oh. oh my god. Reroll. Doesn't reroll there. Maybe he should have done. That's one of yeah. those where you kind of automatically don't reroll it and then. You know, later in the turn or a couple of turns down the line, you're like, oh, I really should have rerolled that one. <laughs> yeah, some I do that a lot. Mm. Or like it's one of them ones. ones. It's one of them ones where your opponent does it, and then they say reroll it, and you're like, What are you doing? And then they <laughs> kill your player like when, with the reroll, and you're like, Oh my god! Yeah, what <laughs> a great terrible reroll. reroll! Why did you reroll it? <laughs> <laughs> they instantly kill your best player. Yeah. Well, this has got a reroll. He doesn't, and... Uh, it doesn't die either. Is it, mate, mummy jump. Mummy jump. Oh. <laughs> yes, Timmy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> he could five plus it with a goal as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. He could, he could dodge double GFI to one day with uh, this guy. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth it. And he could also dodge double GFI with a ghoul as well, so he could he could make two dodges and four GFIs to two D the ball. And then he could knock it to him into him, which he gets to three D him as well as a follow. It's not it's not bad going for the ball here. Really w wouldn't have been bad. Be hitting the stripper. He's got a tackler, oh, no, hasn't he? So he I guess I guess the tackler will yeah, it's the, it. the, the sidestepper. I don't hate hitting the slide stepper either. He could hit the wrestler. I mean, he's going to hit something, isn't he? <laughs> he's going to hit something. It's the three dice. Yep. A three D. Does nothing. You'll do nothing. Okay, well, he's not blitzing the wrestler then. I wonder if he's going to. Oh no, he's not going to foul the rogue. He's moved all his body. Maybe he is going for the ball. Because he hasn't moved these two players. Uh. Okay, so he's just doing him double GFI for the assist and then blitz with him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, double G. So it's double dodge, double GFI. Oh my god. Makes, rolls oh, all of the ball. dice and gets it's the power. power. Wow. Wow. Pushes Just pushes him there. Yeah, I do. Oh, he's cast him. And that's a that's the leader as well, right? So the reroll that he didn't use. Oh no, he's already used the reroll. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my god, look at that! God <laughs> Oh my god, see. People have got dice hacked, mate. Like uh, that push direction was terrible and then he just <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the best scatter there were. Yeah, that's insane. You have to like, yeah. you have to push it like probably there, right? So then he's in between the tacklers and stuff, and then you've got like game, tackle or, all around it. Surely you push to there, maybe to there, right? And then like push one of these guys out or something. But that seems crazy to push it there, where like you can just get. I mean, all these scatters aren't so bad, like around here, right? You can move this guy around, but uh, yeah, it's not where I would have pushed it. <laughs> Mate, I'm so jealous. This is not how it's going to go on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah, this is looking pretty brutal for. Big he's, he's screwed, mate. He's screwed. He's completely screwed. I mean, yep. That's yeah. the power there. He sure and looks then... it a bit. Oh, no, it's got dodge. Yep. I think it was. Trying to get the stripper out, but it's off tackle as well. Yep. Yeah, he just wanted a pound. He wanted to get looking pound, didn't he? But uh, now he's. It's real bad. Hey, Aussie he commentator, it? hello, Shrub God. No, this is uh, Essex. Essex commentator. Yeah, pretty close to Australia, Jim. <laughs> uh, Jim. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> 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 
Dimmy G, Dan Saf. Dan Saf. Mm. And uh, thoughts on new teams? Ah, they're stunties. <laughs> I yeah. think the stunty event is a good idea to get people playing them without them just getting smashed by dwarves continuously, right? It's good, good opportunity for people to try them, and see, you know, see what they're like in in a kind of controlled environment. You're an Aussie. <laughs> You're an Aussie, and you thought he was an Aussie. <laughs> It's my Australian heritage, Jim. <laughs> it surely has to come up this way, right? But then that's rubbish because he wants to come this with him. This is cooked, him. Jim. This is proper cooked. This is... Uh, uh, oh Four God. through tackle. Fails. So... You definitely want to surf this guarder. Maybe surf the, them both, right? Maybe as you, surf, you get to surf both here. Oh no, I think I'm 3 d in the uh, wrestle rat with my uh, mummy. Yeah. But you still might get to surf them both, though, right? I mean, it's just a massive effort to surf them. And, like, I, I, just, I, I think, I mean, yes, you can, but should you? I don't know. Like, you want to secure the ball and score, right? But the balls. Oh yeah, he's got he's got a guy marking him. Oh my god, I didn't yeah, see. Yeah, Jim, I literally yeah, no, didn't let's see. Out. Let's I didn't see. Bit, like. I genuinely <laughs> just didn't see this guy. <laughs> Pure insanity. I thought I was casting with Dave over. <laughs> 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 like, Who's this guy? He was hiding behind the mummy. So from Seabro's point of view, he won't he won't forget this guy. So yeah, he shouldn't he shouldn't go for the surf. Um, he should. In fact, he should probably block, like. Not with the mummy, right? So that the mummy could have blitzed this one. Oh, look. Oh, hang said. on. I would have thought he would have pushed him onto the goal to chain him into the guard so he can save his blitz for yeah. the, the guy behind. My wrestle would have he... punched him. My wrestle would have punched him. Still three dice nah. and then chains the mummy onto there and then you get a three dice on him, right? Nah, I would have took the mighty blow hit with the mummy but then I would have pushed the, the rat into the wrestle the assister on the well to, to punch the guard around to play. Yeah, like this, fair enough. Because now he's now he's dodging and like I mean, anyone who's played undead as much as I have will know your goal always dies. Yeah, he's dodging. Yeah, he's dodging. He's blocking. Yeah, he's punching. Blocking him. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because so yeah, he could have blocked and chained him in there, there to just block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then and then it means he can blitz this guy. I mean, I would have excited in a different way. I would have. Concentrated on oh, clearing the ball rather than going for the surf, so I would have chained. I would have. I would have chained the mummy in. Three did with a mummy, and then blitz that guy off. Mate, this is this is horrendous. It is. Yeah, it's absolutely horrendous. Yeah. Yeah, I think he just lies down now and waits for the second half. Yep. I wouldn't even. Oh, and he's gonna get fouled as well. Killed. Oh, no send-off, two reserves for Seabros, so, so he's going to keep fouling for the rest of the half. Yeah, exactly, yeah, he's got... He... Well, two more, but... Now his Rattiger's getting smashed with Mighty Blow. Glorious. Probably the wrong push no, direction from uh, K-Broder. Until mm. I'm victorious, so pushed him down and, and I will defend. Away from the mummy. I will defend. I guess he's going to like vaguely threaten the surf, but yeah, he is in mummy blitz range now, which is mm. seems absolutely wrong. 200 gift subs from Goliath. Fool! Ah, thank you so much, Goliath. What an absolute legend. <laughs> Hello, Goliath. <laughs> no, if you're going to call me an Aussie. Okay, hear the accent now he spoke too soon. There you go. Okay, you're officially not an Aussie, Dimmy. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> right, eh? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what Australians say, I only remember, like, you know, what's it called? Neighbours. <laughs> I don't know anything neighbors. since Neighbours. They don't really have, like, massively Australian accents in Neighbours, do they? No, that's the last time I heard Neighbours. Well, no, there's, there's uh, Maya, isn't there? Or, you know, but apart from that, I haven't, yeah, I don't really hear a lot of Aussies, do you? Yeah. Well, Mank uh, Mankies. Man Mansky is Aussie, isn't he? Yeah. Uh. Mansky sounds like Popeyes. Castle Main Forex, yeah. Rack, rack off. off, yeah, that's it, rack <laughs> off. <laughs> Thanks, Kalon. <laughs> that's fantastic. 
<laughs> Gala. Gala. I used to have a mate at school actually who used to sound well Australian. <laughs> like for no reason at all. He just sounded Australian when he talked. <laughs> Rack off is a classic. I wonder if they still say that. Probably not, right? It's like thirty years ago. <laughs> Literally 30 years ago. Here he goes. Is he dodging in or not? No, he's just chaining back, I guess, or something. Uh, yeah, just tail oh. on the ball. Oh, now he's definitely getting punched by the Mutt again. Yeah. Bosh. And I think he should have laid down. I would have been tempted, mate. Honestly, laying down is not that terrible with rats. Mm. I mean, well, the problem was was the fouling, right? The problem with the laying down was is true. His, yeah, his step was just going to get fouled, and his strip baller was going to get fouled, so he didn't really have a choice. But if the rat ogre goes, then this is looking dire for uh, Mr. Mr. Fool. He should probably go two more squares, right? Become a scoring threat. No, nope, no, nope. he's just trying to defend. Get out of this nil nil. Yes. <clears throat> no. Nope. That's obviously a fail, he's not going to re-roll that. And now we've got two players free. And can block the roger, blitz the gutter, so... Okay, now he's going to block the gutter, but that's going to sidestep. Why did you do that? Why did you do that, Seabros? He's like, this is the thing, isn't it? When you're so far ahead, you just get, like, you just... And he followed, so he hasn't even got the assist. Oh, okay, he's got to move him in. Wow. Uh, and now he's got a blitz to size so far. I mean, it's not that bad, is it? It's just fine. One in nine from the mummy, though. He'll kick himself if he don't come out of this half one nil. Yeah. I mean, the problem he's got here is... Uh, oh, my God, one, one in nine. nine. From the mummy, yeah, I called it. It's the pal. Alright, and then this guy has to sidestep onto, well, probably away from the tackle. Yeah, he probably into has the to. Into the roster. Has he got a reroll left, or is that was his no, last No, that was his last reroll. So, double skull on the goal. And he's still got the blitz, hasn't he, so he can blitz I guess, yeah, the tackle Yeah, he blitz now. for the tackle. But he's got a potato though, because he's well, like he's got he's got to get in range. He, he can eye cage, players. can't he? He can eye cage. Yeah, but it's still eye caging against the wrestler. Like, I mean, it's not great, no. Yeah, but I mean, like, I feel like, I feel like he should be in a better position than he is. Exactly. Or yeah. the way the half has gone. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I don't know whether that's credit to Kofo or just. I mean, he just wanted to bang, and he's just—he's just banging. So. Yeah, he's, yeah. I don't think I think it was a lack of focus this turn, certainly from Seabros. Yeah. And and last turn as well, right? Like I really liked clearing the gutter by like you know not using the ball carrier, so you could have moved forward last turn. I would have moved forward last turn. Um, yeah, I mean, I hate to agree turn. with you on getting forward. Jim. <laughs> 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 I think I think you should have got forward. Yeah. 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 Gets it's him the down power with a tackle. And the armor break. Is he dead, Jim? He's not dead. He hasn't got anyone to stamp on his head though. And that wrestler is still on his feet. Fedding him. <laughs> Struth! Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Crikey. <laughs> so just uphill it's with wrestle, there's nothing else for it, is there? There's nothing else to. He goes straight in. He's got a re-roll. Has to expend it. Skull. Oh, he's killed himself. Now, do you oh, make okay. a three dice so. here as as a hundred percent? No rerolls. Nah, you score. It's it's big uh, Kev. No man, I would have I would have killed the bloodshot. <laughs> it's big Kev. You've got to take the score. You've got to Can take the score. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Good KO rolls for Core. I don't know, the zombie doesn't matter, but he gets two out of three back. Oh, he's lost his leader though, and he says down a reroll. Oh, yeah, and he's down a gallon. Is that his stripper? Is that his stripper? That's his stripper, yeah. 
That's his best gutter as well. Yep. He's got disaster for a K phone. Absolute disaster, yeah. Do you reckon do you reckon he be decided to become English because he knew Seaports <laughs> was getting really good at Blood Bowl and he, he, he wouldn't make the team anymore. So Maybe. He, he, well, it's, isn't it funny that he, he became the England captain and the Danish won the Euro Open, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not the Euro Open, the Euro Bowl. <laughs> yeah, it is weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, very weird, Jim. Maybe everyone's rated him wrongly all these years. <laughs> someone, though, someone, someone said something like that. Though, like, he's over. Oh, that's ridiculous. He is ridiculous. He's pretty damn good. But, uh, yeah, there was some... Uh, I think, I honestly think the DACA is probably better there than uh, their normal drive, which he attempted. Yeah. And the, the right Ogre thing was just a big mistake, man. leaving yeah. two guards on it. Yeah. I mean, maximum punish, but that's, that's the way you learn. Yeah. And, uh, no, it's, it's interesting. The, the issue with k being, like, overrated or whatever is, the thing is, he's, like, the most rateable. The, the thing with, with Core is he's the most rateable, right? Because everyone who plays Tabletop knows who he is. Everyone who plays Fumble knows him. Everyone who plays Blood Bowl 2 knows him. Everyone who plays Blood yeah, Bowl yeah. 3 knows him. Where, so, like, the people like Malmir, right, only known on, on Fumble. Guys like Cruz only known on Blood Bowl 2. Guys like uh, Podfrey only known on Tabletop. So, so those guys could be just as good as him, but they're just not going to be as widely accepted as number one of it because, like, everybody, everybody knows Big Kev. But um, you know, like there's obviously like there's not a lot between all the top players. It's just that that's he's got the you know unparalleled CV in terms of doing it in every single format. Well, his uh, his CV is taking a bit of a dent here. <laughs> it has, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it has, isn't it? Hawkins <laughs> 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 on everywhere too. Like on oh, double oh seven in the World Cup. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> Wait, the funniest thing about that though is, right, because if he's on a good team and he's going zero zero seven, 7 the worst thing is, normally when you have a bad tournament, like, and you you lose a load of games, you end up playing someone worse, right, so you've got more chance of winning, but if you're on a really good team and you've got five guys winning every game and you're losing every game, you're still playing better and better and better people, like, every game. So like you're double oh six and you're going into your next game against one of the best players in the world and you're like, please <laughs> Ooh Triple School You have to re-roll this, see bros. Yeah. Trips. Mm. That ball is in a spicy spot. Yeah, he's gotta re-roll the pickup. Imagine this was old school Blood Bowl as well, where you only had one re-roll a turn. Yeah. Oh, he picks he up probably would have gone for the pickup before the block, then, wouldn't he? Like, in all honesty. Ah, uh, I don't know, Jim. I don't know, Jim. I don't know. Yeah, I guess like you wouldn't expect it. Feels like such a long time ago. I watched um, Kiefer Big screen some Blood Bowl Two games, yeah. and it just felt it just felt so alien and crazy. And just, I've played like thousands of games of Blood Bowl Two, and it, and yet, <laughs> like the one reroll per turn just felt so alien and weird and mm. hard for my brain. Like, it's mad. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Lots of people hate it, don't when it when like well, when it was announced, didn't they? A lot, a lot of people didn't like it. I, uh, I always thought it would be. Oh God, he's gonna kill his. He's gonna kill another player here. Is he? Oh no, it, it, you can only do it a standing one. Yeah, yeah, you can only do it a standing one. So he was safe. Um. Yeah, was I always thought it was interesting. Like I didn't think it was necessarily going to be bad. Whereas some people were like, oh, "It's going to be bad," and I was like, "Give it a chance. It might be all right." And now, it, it would seem. Yeah, I think it would. I agree with you. I think it would like kind of seem weird to play without it. Funny, isn't it? It's a funny old game. The old blood balls. He's going for the rat auger here. I really like just going for the rat auger, honestly. Well, that's the thing. It doesn't matter. Like the problem is, like it doesn't matter if you one turns now. As long as you get your score in, that's it. Like it doesn't. I'd have both downed as well. No, don't be an idiot, Jim. I'd have both downed. I've got well, like it, you wouldn't have mighty blow, would you? But you've got more armor. Um, Mate, if you both down and then you lose your mummy and he keeps his battery, good, that's the only way you lose the game, Jim. Come on. Yeah, but now he might just now he's just going to knock over your mummy, isn't he?
<laughs> now he's just going to blitz him on me and foul it. Maybe. I haven't seen Kev do a foul. But ever. I can't remember the last he time. Fouls, he fouls war dancers. Oh no, he hasn't got the angle, has he? I thought he had the angle. Like, I thought he could blitz in from the side. Oh, he can blitz in from this side, right? He could blitz in from this side. And then, like, push it out. Oh, except no, because he'd need the guard in no, so. well, He has got two assists in there, hasn't he? So maybe he is going to blitz. No, he's not. He's just going to blitz the tackler. Okay, the tackler makes more sense. Juggernaut. But this is a 1D, isn't it? He didn't put a player here yeah, like, where, like he should have done. So... Is he just going to assault the balls? Yeah, I'm just going to put everyone around. Everyone around the back. Hope for the best. Oof. Like, I like this, though. Right? It, it's this, you know, like, this is how basically Crystal Hunter and Olivia Dilac tend to play every turn of every drive. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think like I like it more in this situation like you know when you want nil down like it's he's got to make something happen and even though this is risky I feel like he's got no choice right, yeah, yeah like I think he's got no choice yeah. yeah not even no choice this time yeah whereas like so people like those two might go in more than uh, others would normally obviously they think it's right to go in as much as they do <laughs> and you know, Chunter's one chalice, and lots of people think he's very good. And uh, Olivier Delac is the top ranked tabletop player in the world, and lots of people think he's very good. So it's interesting, isn't it? It's super interesting. Is he going to foul the roger here, do you think? One re roll is really bad so, so soon in the half, isn't it? You have to uh you have to move this guy over, don't you? You have to just move him away. I don't I don't know where this ball's going, Jim. Yeah, I mean you can't you can't just let it instantly be hit by a by a rattle. No. So I still got the blitz. Right? He's blitzing him, okay. This isn't gonna be safe wherever he goes. It's not gonna be safe. I mean, he can dodge off the ghouls, can't he? He can try dodging the ghouls to make it all good. Mm, yep. Particularly this one. Okay, no, he's just going to punch him. Completely reasonable. Oh, he's lost his strip, though, hasn't he? So it's just wrestling. Yeah, I guess it's it's not so bad because he hasn't got the strip. Yeah, he's in a big, he's in a big like kind of eye cage. No, I'm not, Steve. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, this is the first round, Astro Tour. Yeah, new season of Super League. First round. Um, there's a YouTube video, um, you know, telling, you know, explaining everything, drawing the groups and everything. But yeah, this is the uh, this is the first round. Um, there's only been like the second game. We had to start it really quickly because of uh, because of the World Cup and uh, not having a lot of time. So now it's exactly the same format as um, the Euro Bowl. It's not like Fumble. For the Fumble Super League isn't very super, is it? Fum Fumble Super League is just like a big, it's just like a big league, right? With like loads of random people in it. Whereas this is invite only with all the best players. So well, not all the best players, all all good players. Um, some people have said no, um, such as Elliot. Um, you know, so it's not all the best players, but it's all the best players who've said yes. <laughs> I mean, if you're making a competition called Super League, isn't that naturally elitist Astro Tour? That's kind of the point, yeah. That is the point. Calling a league Super League and then it not being super in any way is weird to me. <laughs> Right. I would argue I would argue the Premier Division of Super League. There's there's a there's a few players in there that would get into this, I think. Oh there is, yeah, there are there is, but um 
But you know, I, I looked at Super League on Fumble, and it would take me like a year or a year and a half or something to get the top division. So, what's that about? Ain't nobody got time for that. It could be super as in massive, yeah, but I, I don't like big things. <laughs> I don't like big things. And everyone's like, you know, oh, you could make the Super League bigger. And it's like, I don't want it bigger. I like it small and elite. Like, that's what I want. I want it, you know, the, all the games to matter. I don't want a, a gigantic leagues. I'm just not, I'm just not a fan of gigantic leagues. Like, I think Super League on Fumble is better than, like, you know, the the normal big multi-tiered leagues, because at least it's not all about building a gigantic team for season after season. But it's still just a gigantic Super League like all the others. But, yeah, it's it's NAF style, you know, like, like the one on Fumble. But it's super unlike the one on Fumble. <laughs> it is elite, help me. We've got Seabros versus K Fog. What a match. Anybody in the Super League, Blood Bowl 3 Super League, could win the Black Box Trophy, couldn't they? Which is pretty okay. good. Couldn't they? I think they could. They'd be there or thereabouts, but <coughs> winning it is uh, pretty incredible. I think there's a fair bit of luck involved with um, Black Box Trophy. Of course there is, yeah. But I mean, they, they could all win it, that's what I mean. They could all win it. But there's not that many people who can win it on Fumble, is there, at the end of the day? Um, uh, yeah, I'd say there's probably like five or six people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it is a little bit like that Astro Tour, I mean, but it's also just it's also just a good a good quality league. Uh, I'm sure I said congrats PC, but yeah, congrats PC. <laughs> and half a brain. I did play the uh, the Sid Vicious half a brain promo to uh, to celebrate your victory, actually. So there you go. I did actually play that, so so you were somewhat congratulated. Yeah, congratulations. Mm. This game's done. Yep. Yeah. It's congratulations, Ebro. Yeah. Would you say would you say an upset? I'd say I wouldn't say a huge upset, but I'd say an upset. Uh, well, I'd say an upset in the way it panned out because it it hasn't really been close, which I expected it to at least be close. But yeah, uh, yeah. losing that guard on turn one was brutal, and then I, I didn't really like I didn't really like his turn three KFOs particularly, and um, I don't and I wasn't sure about playing this out as a normal drive. Mm. We'll see. Yep. The stripper being out was pretty brutal. Yep. The leader being Ooh. cast brutal. Yep. Funnily enough, that blitz that I said, if this is the sort of thing where you think I should have re-rolled it afterwards direct <laughs> that turn directly led to the ball sack, didn't it? So Yeah, yeah, it did, yeah. That was uh, remarkable. I think the plan was to like push up the side and stretch the the, the board a bit, but Obviously, when he rolled the one in nine, he just sat there. And then, like I say, there was there was ways of getting the the ball. Mm. He did roll all the dice, and the scatter was ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, well, it was what well, was double GFI, and then two dodges with a dodge piece, and double GFI, two dice sack. Yeah. But then, pow, Kaz, God scatter. <laughs> like it's it's just blood bowl on it. Unbelievable. And when Dio tells you it's okay to let your ball get sacked. <laughs> that, that's normally what happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> Dio says a lot of things, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, he does. He, mate, he's a troll, and he's, he's, he's an internet troll. 
He is a little bit. And, uh, yes, Kivug does actually have the slimmest chance, right? If if Seabroad had just ended the turn, he would have won 1-0. Whereas now, Kivug, there can be a, uh, what's it oh, called? No. Yeah, timeout, one turn touchdown. And then there can be another timeout or a blitz. And then he can make it 2-2, yes. Whereas if, if Seabroad had passed the turn, he would have just won 1-0. However... Um, touchdown difference is a factor in the tiebreakers, so it probably is better on the balance of yeah on the balance of probabilities. It's better to score the second right, um, but yes, it has given Kfog the tiniest chance to draw the game. This is uh, this is something else that I considered <clears throat> with the kickoff selection. The one thing about kicking to the rats as undead is you're not putting your mummies on the LOS on turn 8 mm. so there's that which is a massive positive yeah so it's really I'm really torn I'm really torn on offence defence yeah. I'm kind of hoping that Sol just wins the toss and decides for me <laughs> <laughs> just the easiest way to do it yeah yeah <laughs> there's no game after this one Jimmy's game got delayed well, uh, there might be there might be a streamed game after this, but not a Super League game after this. No. No, the stream's ending. And, uh, stream is not ending, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll I'll probably do like a halfling game after this. No, shut up. Shut up. In in the event, obviously not on ladder. I don't want to get beaten by dwarves. Uh, He's just going straight for the handoff. Uh, yeah, he has to because he has to fill the square to. Ah, uh, he only no. gets one push on the mummy. Yeah, he, he doesn't need to fill any squares, right? Because he's got side steps, so he pushes him. Yeah, for, no, I know. First yeah. hit. First then he doesn't get there, the second push, to, second yeah, yeah, push yeah. to there, then he blocks him to here, and then yeah. he blocks him to there, and then he goes out. Gets the, Gets push. the push. The plim plom push. And another one. There was no timeout though, was there? So it's just GG. Yeah, it's, it is GG. It's just whether he can, you know, make the uh, touchdown difference better. Can I get one more push? So. No, you can just. Probably. Oh, he's not got another gutter. Nah, he takes the pal, and then he needs to get off tackle as well. So. Yeah, he's just gonna. He's not gonna. Yeah, he's not gonna. So free, free. He hasn't two. got a gutter to go in, so. Free, three, two, 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 two. But if he had a gutter, he could have. Uh, he could have got another one, maybe. Oh, and then he instantly oh, fails. <laughs> instantly oh fails. my god. <laughs> Well, oh, will we see the the end of the match? No, we don't. No, we don't. So that has not been... It's been fixed in that it goes directly to the home screen rather than hanging on the running goblin. But it's not fixed in that you actually go to the results screen. So that's a shame, isn't it? Would it be so hard to go to the results screen after a game? That was a quick one. 50 minutes. <coughs> Man, that grinds my gears. I, I can't lie, that grinds my gears. It just doesn't take you to this screen. Flip me. That's very annoying. Um, Congratulations, Seabulls. Commiserations, k -Hole. Yes. Yeah, that was uh, that was something, wasn't it? Um, yeah, mistake by call, wasn't it? To, to eat his own storm vermin, or also unlucky, but yeah, a, a misplay there. And then, yeah, Is that pushed down the left. Is this the first time we've seen Undead in a Blood Bowl 3 BBSL? It is, yes, yes. That's why, uh, That's why. funnily enough, both Seabros and Artemis named their team something like have an Undead team, right? And remarking on the lack of Undead teams. But they got the extra package, right? Which is what which is what made Artemis and Seabros use them because that gave them like uh, seven skills on Undead, which kind of makes them like tier two, doesn't it? Whereas, uh, whereas you use the uh, just the six skills to make it more akin to your usual tabletop preferences. Yep. Yeah. Um, Seabros was also the first with Dark Elves. That's true. Yeah. Trailblazing Seabros. 
and uh, yep, yeah, so there you go anyway, congrats, yeah, I mean, Dimmy's already said it, but congrats, Eagles, and congratulations, <laughs> K-Fog, and thank you, Dimmy, being glorious, having you in the booth, uh, commenting. Yes, mate, I've got a run. Yes, yeah, thank you very much, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.